The prize for passengers was supposed to be life-changing. Sadly, the outcome for all five people on board the Ocean Gate submersible, Titan, was life-ending. He definitely knew it was going to end like this. Um, he quite literally and figuratively went out with the biggest bang in human history that you could go out with. Who was the last person to murder two billionaires at once? and have them pay for the privilege. Actually, three potential failure points in the investigation. They also had a, uh, uh, two glass spheres on the sub, small glass spheres for flotation, uh, which is uh, a bad idea. But I think the weakest link, if I had to put money down on what the finding will be, uh, the Achilles heel of the sub was the composite cylinder that was the main hull that the people were inside. Five precious lives were lost. Titan submarine became history like Titanic. Who was responsible? Man or material or machine? Let's analyze this. Ladies and gentlemen, on 18th June 2023, Titan submarine was imploded under the deep sea of North Atlantic while exploring the wreckage of Titanic. But before that, we need to go back into the history. After the discovery of Titanic wreckage back in 1980s and uh, after the release of the movie Titanic in 1995 by James Cameron, it became a hot destination for underwater explorer to go and see and analyze the wreckage of Titanic. And this gave an opportunity for the organizations like OceanGate to cash these kind of exploration and overlooking so many safety standards. OceanGate was one of the organization which made possible for different kind of explorers and adventurers to go down deep into the sea, approximately four kilometers deep down, and explore the wreckage of Titanic. Those explorers on that day were British explorer Hamish Harding, French diver the Paul Henry, the British Pakistani businessman. Shahzada Daud and his son Salman Daud and last but not the least CEO of Ocean Gate Stockton Rush. Now these were five explorers who were going down on that day on 18th of June into this deep down into the sea to explore the wreckage of Titanic which was approximately 12,800 feet below the sea. Now what happened on that day? But before going into the expedition, Ocean Gate was really really clever. They signed the waiver from those explorers. Anything happened to those explorers, the organization will not be held responsible. Maybe they must be knowing that it could happen. This incident could happen. So anyways, they charged them $250,000 each for each ticket for the four explorer, which I told you before. When they started their journey, it was approximately a seven hours expedition. And after one hour, 45 minutes, they lost the communication with the mothership. Although it was a normal thing because before going into this expedition, Two times, Ocean Gate has sent Titan submarine explore the wreckage of Titanic. During the first test drive, Carl Stanley said that after a few moments into the deep dive, he started hearing the sounds of hammering on the hull of Titan's submarine. And on, and on the way back, he told 
that I think that his its hull was going to be cracked because the sounds were really enormous. But these warnings were ignored by Ocean Gate organization. And again, during the test drives, the chief pilot David also highlighted that the hull of Titan submarine is going to be cracked because this carbon fiber titanium hull is not meant for these kind of deep down deep expeditions because it's not tested it's unclassified and on this thing David was fired and sued in the court by Ocean Gate organization so these were the few factors which were you know ignored before going into this third expedition and when they went down after 3008 meters they lost their contact with the mothership now after few hours of search and rescue they were not able to find them and establish communication so what could have happened there are a few theories which were coming after this incident first of all something big has hit the titan submarine like big animal male kind of thing secondly the second theory which came up that titan submarine would have gone down and was entangled in the wreckage of titanic itself the third one and the most likely was the when the submarine went down the humongous pressure of the sea imploded the submarine and you know that it takes 100 milliseconds for the brain to process the pain and 13 milliseconds for the eye to process the pain and 13 milliseconds for the eye to process the fear and you know in how many seconds the submarine was imploded it was less than one millisecond and you may know and understand now that those five passengers were imploded and vanished instantly and they were not knowing even that what has happened to them now these are the few technical factors which i told you but in my opinion in my analysis the biggest factor was the enthusiasm over adventurism and overlooking of the safety standards by the CEO of Ocean Gate, Stockton Rush. I think he was the only person who motivated all of them to go into this exploration, overlooking the safety standards of the submarines and these kind of uh, explorations and pushing them to go down with a carbon titanium carbon fiber and titanium hull and managing this exploration with the help of the joystick of video game so you can well imagine that how much the safety standards were catered for and how much these warnings were overlooked by the ocean gate ceo stockton rush so please Give your own opinion, own analysis in the comment box. Press the bell icon and also like the video. Thank you very much.